back everybody. So today we're going to try Citrus Obron from Bells. Now this was in a variety pack uh, that Jessica picked up. There were three different varieties than the standard Obron. So this one has, is with lemon and orange zest. Um, now I do not know if they're using the base Obron and just adding that or if they're modifying it I have no clue I would think they would use the base but I could be wrong um alcohol is 7.5 on this one versus the 6.8 so maybe they are um and the um yeast is eaten through the sugars um especially in that orange I mean it's it says zest but it has an orange on there I, I don't know, but something had to happen to get some more sugar out if they are using the base um, because it's higher than the regular Obron. So let's go ahead and get it into a glass. I will, I'm going to do a full review or a review of the variety pack at the end um, or in a separate video, I should say, if you want to check that one out. Off-white colored head, pretty much all small bubbles, a little over, eh, almost a finger of head this one light lighter golden yellow than the regular obron uh i'll worry about that i've got it over there but it is a little lighter a little bit of haze on there uh lots of bubbles coming up but this glass is etched uh i wanted to say it looks like there's particles floating in there but i can't tell let's go ahead and smell Yeah, I would say like that oily zest, like citrus oil zest is what I get the most of. Then some, a, a little bit of wheat. I almost want to say it's like a pine saw. I'm guessing it's just the how zesty it is. But yeah, like citrus oil zest is what I get the most of, then a little bit of the wheat. Almost like reverse of a standard Obron. Standard Obron, I get a lot of wheat and a little bit of that orange citrus. So let's go ahead and taste. Seven point five would be a a double wheat beer. Um, the body's light. I wonder if they use like oranges and that yeast tore through the the sugar in there, creating this lighter body, but upping the ABV. Feels like that citrus zest kind of takes over there's a little sweetness in back i do get like a little bit of wheat but nothing on the scale of like an obron a standard obron that weediness i don't get that much of in here that zest that citrus zest takes over um lemon sure uh more i would say it's more lemon than it is orange It's okay. I would actually go with a 3.25. I think I would rather drink regular Obron over this, and I really don't like regular Obron. Um, it's almost like it's not the same base. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was thinking you would just take the same base, add a variant to it, and go. But with this, it doesn't... It doesn't seem like it is. I, I don't, I still think you would get more of that wheat base. Um, I'm hoping they're calling this a wheat. We'll have to look on untapped. I'm pretty sure it would still be a wheat, but I'm going to go 3.25. It's not a drain pour. I'll drink it. I'll drink the rest of them, but yeah, nothing to speak at home about. Um, 
Wheat beer. That's what they're calling it. One of my friends have checked it in. Uh, 3.75. Uh, almost 100 people. 3.65. Uh, so I am a little bit uh, lower than them. Um, the Dan D. Um, citrus bomb with all the zest. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. A touch of pine salt. We're on the same page. He must like it a little bit more than I do because he gave it a 3.75. Uh, citrusy wheat, uh, lemony light orange. Um, yeah, I, I'm really surprised that I would say a 7.5 and above is a double anything. So I would call this a double wheat beer. Uh, body's too light. Uh, it needs more in there, and let's get some citrus flavors um, in there, not just that pine saw zest. Uh, but if, if you want to try it, go ahead. If not, find something else. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.